What's up, guys? So, I'm going to bring something here on. I'm going to vent a little bit. But first, I'm going to clarify a couple things. So, <clears throat> video that I did a couple weeks ago, or actually a little over a week or two, well, a week and a half, something like that, anyway. Did a little video on using the Punisher logo. I did that video for a couple of reasons. <clears throat> Number one, it was meant to be a little bit of a lighthearted parody, kind of joking, not something to uh, take serious. Just, you know, goofing around a little bit. Because um, there was an opportunity there with said topic. However, when I decided to do it, I also decided that I wanted to do an experiment. Because there was things I was seeing and hearing and watching that were troubling me. And other folks that I follow and watch and talk with were picking up on this as well, but not necessarily in the same manner. So I decided I'd kill two birds with one stone. Could do a little lighthearted, you know, fun video, but also do an experiment. And in doing that experiment, to keep it honest, sometimes you gotta throw out a little bait or in this case, light a candle and see what comes to it. The results have been pretty interesting. So first, let me get into a couple of things. Number one, and this will be the last time we discuss this. I closed the comments on that video and someone asked me in another video why. And the reason is because Someone shared that video and it started getting a lot of views and the comments that all started out as the usual uh, sort of comments that, that are prevalent on the channel here by intelligent, uh, reasoned adults, even those who want to have a good laugh every once in a while. And it quickly degenerated into complete asinine stupidity by people with mental IQs probably lower than their shoe size. Um, all of which I have neither the desire nor the time to be bothered to deal with. So, it was evident by those comments that many people didn't even watch the video. They simply commented based off of the title and the title alone. Their comment made that perfectly clear. Many people got really wound up. Even had someone, after I closed the comments, comment another video that they normally like my stuff, but they're going to give a thumbs down and a dislike to any video that I dislike the comments on, or that I disable the comments on as if I'm supposed to give a flying flip if you give it a thumbs down. What part do some of you not understand yet? I don't care if you thumbs down a video. I don't. That says more about you than anything else you could possibly say in conversation. So, if you want to thumbs down it, thumbs down it. I don't care. And that's the end of the discussion on that. Here's what I want to get to. Here's why you people who are actually uh, intelligent uh, on a level that's above room temperature, and that would be the majority of my, my regular subscribers, here's why you should be concerned and honestly even a little bit ticked off. That video about a comic book character logo that I was having a little fun with 
since it got posted has gotten 75,736 views. Almost 76,000 views. My current events videos, trying to keep up with uh, important things in life, average anywhere from 600 to 1,000 views. At the point that I shut off the comments, there were 471 comments on that video. I set it to approve for a while just to see what happens. There were an additional 300 and something comments waiting for approval. So getting close to a thousand comments on that video. Current events videos, 19 to 40 comments, 11 comments, 31 comments, uh, 33 comments, 16 comments, etc., etc. That's what people pay attention to. That's what people are getting upset about. That's what people will go off the rails for. That's what people will actually take time to comment on, even when they didn't even watch the video. A video about a comic book logo. It was like moths to a flame. Like I said, sometimes you got to throw out a little bait or light a candle and see what shows up. But the important stuff that could affect all of us and our families, our livelihoods, our very families' lives get jack squat in comparison. And I'm not saying it's my videos. I've watched, I've looked at the, 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 the viewer numbers and comment levels on a lot of other folks' videos that are both friends of mine and those that I subscribe to. And going back and looking and doing a little research on their serious videos that have important stuff in them versus their more fun, kind of lighthearted stuff. The unimportant stuff dominates across the board over the important stuff. This is your fellow Americans. This is the people that you and I, the serious concerned armed prepared citizen, are going to have to deal with. These are the mental idiots who were that wound up about a comic book logo and a discussion about it, that they'll go off the rails, but important stuff, I'm gonna give the time of day to. This is why we have legislation being passed that we have passed. This is why we have the laws in place that we do and we're having to deal with. This is why we have the stupidity that we're having to deal with. This is why we've got elected officials in government doing the idiotic, asinine, unconstitutional bullcrap that they're doing right now. It's because of you people who get wound up about stuff like that. Now, my regular viewers, you guys know that if this applies to you or doesn't apply to you. And it probably won't even matter that I'm saying it because the ones that need to be hearing this, they're not going to watch it anyway as evidence of exactly what I'm talking about. Those of you that are watching right now are the choir that I'm preaching to that don't need to hear it. But this is why we're where we're at. You people that get involved over things like that, you're the same ones that get wound up about the latest you know, musical group or uh, Hollywood star or movie or reality TV show, but won't take the time to actually get involved politically and vet your candidates, vote, engage your candidates, call your representatives and senators, email them, snail mail them, go to meetings and stuff of how to get more politically involved. One of my best friends just put up an article on American Partisan the other day about getting involved politically. This is why we're in this shape because of people like you. Y'all will get all wound up about the non-important stupid stuff, but the important stuff that actually affects our lives, all of us, you don't give two flying flips about. Now, I don't care 
if you watch my videos or like my videos. I honestly don't. I've made that clear. And I'm, I'm sounding like a broken record even to myself, and that's saying something. What I do care about is the state of affairs and where this country is headed and what you people are doing because you're affecting me now. Well, not now, but you've been affecting me and I'm getting fed up with it. You're affecting my friends. You're affecting my family because of your stupidity. And that video, a little bit of a social experiment, is a prime example. Somebody shared it. Probably multiple people shared it. So you thought that was important enough to share, but not things affecting our actual lives to do with the government, the economy, foreign affairs, statewide affairs, local United States affairs, etc. That stuff won't get shared. That stuff won't get spread. Other people that I subscribe to that are beating this drum, I don't see their videos getting shared. But you'll share this. Now, I'm not saying you got to share videos. What I'm doing is I'm pointing out the difference here of what people will share and find out and try to drum up support for. They'll go beat the drum and rally their troops around something that they like or don't like or think they can come make fun of because they saw a grown man doing a video about a comic book character. But then they miss the entire point of what was being said because they either didn't watch it or didn't pay attention to what was being said or they already had established in their head where they wanted to go with it and it wouldn't matter what was said. But that's what they found important. So to those of you that are my regular loyal subscribers, those of you that had IQs over room temperature, those of you who are concerned about the state of the country, the state of the world, the state of affairs that is going to affect all of us from the local county and city level all the way up to the national and international level this is what you're dealing with this is why we're having the problems that we're having this is why so many other channels in addition to mine beat the drum about people getting out getting trained practicing getting off the couch etc etc because we're going to be dealing with these people one day, when the hammer falls, we're going to be dealing with them because they were too busy getting wound up about this other nonsensical bullcrap instead of being worried about what should be going on. They're going to be the ones standing there going, Wow, how did that happen? How did we get here? This is why. So yeah, it, 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 it's a bit frustrating when... So many people are trying to point stuff out. So many people are putting stuff out there. And not just on YouTube, but other places as well. But this has become one of the greatest opportunities that we have ever had. The ability for anybody to share info and pass on stuff and communicate with each other. The average guy with a cell phone can get on YouTube and put something up. Information passing ability, this is why they're cracking down so much, Google, YouTube, the powers that be, etc., because they don't like that we can use this stuff just as effectively as they can. But people won't. People won't. Go do a look-see on YouTube for other videos about random just completely time-wasting, mind-numbing bullcrap. Look at the kind of views and shares that it's getting. Look at the kind of videos that go viral. What's my point? Those of you that are actually there, hey girl, see even my girl down here, she's fed up with it too. You guys, this is what we're facing. This is what we got to be prepared for. Not only the people that expressly plan to be the bad part of society when something happens, but just the people that are too stupid to pay attention to what's going on now and will suddenly find themselves in that situation and become desperate and then desperate people do things that they normally wouldn't do. We're going to have to deal with all of them. 
So, to beat the drum a little bit more, go over your stuff. Find out where you've got deficiencies at. Find out where there's areas where you need to plug in little extra, extra pieces. Go get training done. Get out and practice with your family and friends. Go do whatever you got to do to up your game that little bunch. That little, just a teeny tiny bit every week, every month, even if it's just once a month. Incrementally keep doing it, guys, because we're going to have to deal with some really, really stupid people out there. Sorry, but that's just the way it is. All right. I've got some other videos to do. Got some other stuff already done. You guys take care, and uh, for the choir, y'all keep doing y'all's thing. If you want to join the choir or be a part of the solution, I can point you in a dozen different directions to help you out. And you got to be me. I'll, I'll point you somewhere else to people that are far smarter than me um, on how to uh, get involved in a bunch of stuff. So don't think that I'm going to be the one trying to you know, be the Pied Piper. I'll, I'll point you to smart people. I hear you, girl. She's telling me it's time to go. Um, you guys take care, and I will catch you in another one.